you're a UI UX designer and you're looking for a video which you can actually send to your developer concerning how to navigate through Figma, then this is the right video for you. Alright, so in this video, I'm going to be showing developers how to go ahead and navigate through Figma using the developer mode. Alright, so um, right here on Figma, as you can see right here, I'm on the project. So once you're on the project, the what you want to do is you want to tap on this section tap on it this is going to turn on dev mode all right so if you're actually a developer this is what you want to use when you're actually working on a particular project all right so the next thing you want to do is to go ahead and zoom in and you're going to see this this bandage that says dev mode all right which shows you're on the dev mode so once you're in the dev mode this is where you can actually get code you can get code if you're actually developing a mobile app so st since this is a mobile app i can go ahead and select this particular frame and selecting this particular frame you notice that on the right hand panel you're going to see code you're going to see code you can see the border the padding and everything and you can see modifiers you can see the codes you can see the color used on this design you can see the assets right here and instead of asking a ui ux designer for the particular assets used on the design um so this will actually help this actually help you save more time by coming to the assets section and you click on download so you can export this particular assets you can export this arrow right here you can export it you can export this image right here this is the logo all right so if you click on this drop down you can actually select any of these uh formats any of the image formats you want png jpeg and all then you can export so if you scroll down you can also export the full frame yes this export section is to export the full frame all right and since this is a mobile app you can also go ahead and you can actually put your push your code um to you can i think i convert this into a code that i can use on vs code all right so you click right here as you can see right here figma to um figma to code html to flutter and swift ui all right so let's come to this compose on this compose section if you tap on it you'll notice you can actually change you can actually change this if you want if you are since this is an android you can change this to an android then tap on xhtml xml so xml then you're going to see the code in xml format all right because this is the code android developers make use of all right so you can also do that for ios if you are using swift ui you can do that and it's going to give you a code for swift ui so it's that easy all right and you can also if you're actually using a flutter you can do this and enjoy and if you tap on individual elements you're going to get the particular code for each of those elements so it's really easy as you can see right here you can get the color code and you can change if, if you want the color code, if you don't like if you don't want them the the hex value you can change it to rgb you can change to rgb you can change it to hsl you can change it to hsb and a lot more all right so we also have this little nice looking um plugin anima that allows you to convert actually you need to install this plugin so figma to react so if you're actually using react you can convert the particular app to react and you can go ahead and code so it's really easy and you can see right here on the left hand panel you're going to see ready for development nothing marked for ready for the development all right so developers so ui ux designers can actually mark a particular screen for developers all right you can you can actually mark particular screens for developers all right mark for developers here's what you need to do um you can zoom out you can zoom out the project zoom out as a ui ux designer then come to this frame section you cannot you cannot mark a particular uh, you cannot mark a particular frame for develop for development all you have to do is come to this frame right here this frame section and then change it to section then highlight you're just going to mark this full box so basically this is what i'm going to do I'm going to do this it means this is ready for development i can change this to let's change this to all right let's say ready for development then i can select this once you tap on this it's going to mark ready for development so as you can see right here marked ready for development so now instead of having to create a separate page that says 
um, that says ready for development you can just tap ready for develop you can just select the section and once as a developer once you're on this development section you're going to see ready for development on this right section on this um left panel so you can actually see the screens that you can go ahead and design for all right so even if the designer is working on the same screen you can also code alongside with the designer working all right with this as long as a particular screen has been marked ready for development so it's that easy so you can go ahead and select the particular frame and do whatever you want to do and the amazing part is you can also integrate jira and integrate jira git and lots more into your project so you can see it right here you can integrate jira and a lot more so that's it guys i hope you found this video really helpful if you found it helpful kindly subscribe to the channel and don't forget to leave a like on the video thanks for watching